Watch as these mechanical dogs redefine agility with uncanny precision. Through paws or wails, they've never failed to exceed expectations. <laughs> the game is set. A real threat to their peers. We used the technology of reinforcement learning to develop a controller based on a neural network, so robot dogs can perform highly bionic and natural gait we see now. It is a self-learned action based entirely on the state of the environment. These robot dogs are outperforming real dogs now. I mean, my dog doesn't do a backflip. So my question is, what's the point of developing such difficult moves for them? Exactly. Normal dogs can't jump very high, but robot dogs can jump about 80 centimeters off the ground. Only by continuously improving their hardware capabilities can we lay a solid foundation when developing applications later. While real dogs sniff for treats, these machines sniff for survival, detecting gas leaks, mapping collapsed tunnels, and identifying power grid faults. In the three-kilometer-long tunnel of Singapore's SP Group, China's robot dogs have been used to patrol and inspect cable tunnels. What makes them even more popular is their budget-friendly cost. More than 95% of the technology and the components of this dog are domestically produced, including the chips. I feel that Chinese robots are superior to some similar competitive products from abroad in terms of a product iteration speed, maturity and cost. I believe their advantages will become more and more obvious over time. One step ahead of humanoids, robotic dogs are applied in the real world on a larger scale. Research shows the global market size of robot dogs reached 1.2 billion US dollars in 2023 and it's expected this number will quadruple by 2031 when more than 560,000 more flexible and intelligent metal hounds will enter the market.